And now, from the CFTK TV studios, this is Open Connection, brought to you by Rio Tinto Elcan and the Prince Rupert Port Authority. Welcome to Open Connection. Today we are in Burns Lake and joining me right now is Alistair Sharoff who is with the Lakes Animal Friendship Society and we're at the Community Animal Care Event here in the community. So can you tell me a little bit about uh, what, what this event is all about? Sure, so this Community Animal Care Event is basically about getting people together to learn how to meet the needs of their pets because we believe that healthy animals are part of healthy families and ultimately a healthy community. So that's why we call it a community animal care event. We want the whole community to be involved from start to finish. So that's what we're here for. So where are these people coming from? I understand they're not all from Burns Lake. Okay, the team, there's a team visiting here. It's a team of volunteer veterinarians, technicians and, and other assistants. And they are from Ontario, uh, British Columbia and and usually points in between. So that's ma mainly Western Canada, but they travel to communities like ours to try to help them with their pet overpopulation. And that, they put on what is the centerpiece of our community animal care event, which is the animal health clinics. So at these animal health clinics, the veterinarians are doing spaying and neutering surgery so the animals can't have babies anymore and won't contribute to the overpopulation. And they're also doing vaccinations, deworming, and checking them to make sure they're healthy and happy and there's a lot of education that goes along with it, but that's the centerpiece of our event. Now, what has the Lakes Animal Friendship Society, what role has the society played in, in getting this event to Burns Lake? A very good question. It, the first uh, event that we held was in 2011, and that was after uh, applying and going through a lot of process to build community support and get uh, the Canadian Animal Assistance Team to agree to come to our area in 2011. So it was a year and a half lead up before that. That was our first one in 2011 and we had a repeat in 2012 and this is the third one in 2013. And we're saying that this is sort of the last event that we will probably have the Canadian Animal Assistance Team here in our community because they have to move on and help other communities. The point is when a community has a big problem with overpopulation and, and have animals that are roaming or getting or hungry or you know if there's too many animals and not enough good homes that's that's the problem so they need they come in to help get it down to a manageable level and then they start to phase themselves out so they they commit to a community to help them out and then they start getting ready to move on and in Burns Lake we're sort of getting in the ready to the move on stage. Have you noticed a difference in Burns Lake over the last three years with uh, overpopulated animals? Yes um, there's uh, we hear a lot of evidence from the community or people talking about it anecdotally from the community um, but it's interesting to note that the village of Burns Lake which is our main community our main uh, center here they have a village pound and they look after bylaw enforcement for animals well even after the first event and the first clinic that we held the complaints to their office went down their impoundments to their village pound went down and it's pretty dramatic. Their numbers into the pound are less than half, maybe closer to a third of what they were before. So we know that uh, it's starting to make a difference. And there's also a shelter nearby in Topley, which is about uh, 50 kilometers from Burns Lake. And looking at their statistics, their intake is also down to about half of what it was before. So there's less animals that can't find a home that are being taken in by the village to the pound system or people giving them up for um, surrendering them so that there is an improvement in addition to what we hear from the people who can see and know that there's less of a problem there. Since this is one of the last events that will be in Burns Lake, how will community members and, and, and yourself uh, participate in keeping these numbers, to maintaining them where they are now and, and making sure people know what to do with their pets? Very good. Um, the, que the part of it is education, and before we even started on these big events and big clinics, uh, Valerie Ingram, one of our members, has been in the schools doing education with up to 700, and even um, as she goes to other communities, up to a thousand children a year that she's seeing, talking about what the needs of a pet are, the importance of spaying and neutering, and preventing overpopulation. So that sort of builds momentum, and that sort of sets up each each child to and, and we educate the community as well to understand the importance of it so 
people know that we do have a veterinarian in town and that this is something that they really should do on an ongoing basis. That maybe this pet is coming into the clinic, but they're going to have another pet down the road and they'll have to, to get the veterinarian to look after the needs of that pet as well. Open Connection will be right back after these messages.